Welcome. I'll interpret the problem statement. We have wind blowing on a 55 gallon drum. The goal is the wind speed to tip the drum over. We'll do our work in SI units. The mass of the drum is 48 pounds. The diameter is 22.5 inches and the height is 34.5 inches. Let me start with what I already know. Wind will put a drag force on the drum and the drum then will slide along the ground or it'll tip around 0.0. And for this problem, I'm going to go ahead and assume that it will tip over instead of sliding. To solve this problem, I ask myself the question, what force or torque keeps this drum from tipping over? And after thinking about it, I see that there's a torque due to the weight around 0.0, and that keeps the drum from tipping over. So to solve this problem, I visualize, I'll calculate the torque due to the drag force and the torque due to the weight force. And when those two are equal, I'm right at the point of the drum tipping over. Let's get started. I convert my problem variables to SI units. I sketch my situation diagram. I assume that the drum will tip over but not slip. And these are some assumptions I wrote down later when I was selecting a coefficient of drag. Lastly, in the calculations, when I needed it, I wrote down properties here and all I needed was the density of air. My goal is the minimum wind speed so that the drum tips over. To reach my goal, I started with the drag force equation because the goal appears right here. In the drag force equation, the wind speed is my goal. Density here is known. The reference area is unknown, but I can quickly look up and see that it's the diameter times the height of the drum. The coefficient of drag right here is unknown, and the drag force itself is unknown. So I have two new goals. To estimate the coefficient of drag, I go through a three-step process. I visualize the flow, I select a representative geometry out of my textbook, and then I document my findings. Let's go through these three steps. In fact, the drum is sitting on the ground, and the flow at the top up here would look very different than the flow at the bottom. I idealize the flow here, as if the drum was sitting in free space. Then I look in the textbook and what I found was a rectangular plate out of a table 11.1. .1. This geometry is most representative of this flow pattern. And then for the parameters in the table listed here, I found a coefficient of drag of 1.19. To find the drag force, I sketch a free body diagram of the barrel. The drag force, by assumption, acts at the center of the barrel as shown there. The weight force acts at the center of gravity. And since the barrel is on the verge of tipping over like that, the frictional force and the normal force will both act at 0.0. All some moments about 0.0 because the normal force and the frictional force both have zero torques around this point. The torque due to the drag force is given by this term. The torque due to the weight is given by this term. My problem goal appears right there. And I know the height of the barrel, the diameter of the barrel, and I know the weight of the barrel. So I can see that I have the problem cracked. The reason I know is I have two equations, the drag force equation and moment equilibrium around 0.0, and I have two unknowns to solve for, the drag force and the speed of the wind. My plan is to calculate weight with this equation, calculate the drag force with moment equilibrium, and calculate the wind speed with the drag equation itself. I calculate weight, about 214 newtons. I rewrite the moment equilibrium equation to solve for the drag force. My calculation shows the drag force is about 140 newtons. To calculate the drag force, I write the drag force equation here. Then I solve for the wind speed, and the result is I get this equation down here. I plug numbers into the equation, and 
Calculate a wind speed of 19.7 meters per second. In review, engineers often estimate the coefficient of drag on problems and the way you do this you look in the tables in your references and you see whatever looks the closest to what you're trying to idealize and the key thing to look at is the flow pattern. The wind speed on this problem was 44 miles per hour and that's a relatively modest wind speed where I live and so uh, it's possible that the wind could tip an empty barrel over. So when I looked up the coefficient of drag the table said I needed to have a Reynolds number greater than 10,000. So I calculated a Reynolds number and you can see the calculation here and got a calculation and got a value of 750,000. So as shown this is greater than the criteria of 10,000. This completes the solution. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you found this useful. We will see you next time.